What if I told you that if you keep watching this video, you could go from, I barely know what a firewall is, to, I just hacked into the mainframe and no one even noticed. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. This sounds too good to be true, but I'm in. <laughs> Buckle up, because today I'm going to show you the hacking tools that actually work. Not that stuff you Googled last night while drinking energy drinks and pretending to be an actual valuable member of society. But here's the thing. Hacking isn't just about having the right tools. It's about following a process. And no, I'm not talking about randomly typing on a keyboard and hoping something works. I mean, you could do that, but the results would be more embarrassing than your last Tinder date. You need to understand the steps, the tools, and how to use them like a pro. But you'll still need some actual brain power. So no shortcuts, okay? Disclaimer, this video is about ethical hacking. No black hat hacking here, my friend. It's all about securing systems, testing networks, and boosting your skills legally. Misusing this info for malicious purposes? Not cool. And... It could get you into serious legal trouble. Phase one, reconnaissance, AKA stalking your target like a pro. All right, you wanna hack? First, you need to stalk your target. But no, this isn't creepy, I promise. It's just gathering information from a distance, like trying to find out what your neighbor's up to without letting them know you're snooping. We call this phase reconnaissance, but honestly, it's just online Whoa, stalking at its much? finest. You gather intel without touching the system, Think of it as window shopping for weaknesses. You don't want to just waltz in there like a wrecking ball. So, what tools do you use here? Well, my friend, let me introduce you to Nmap. This tool is like your Swiss Army knife of hacking. It's free, open source, and powerful. It helps you discover all the devices running on a system, figure out what ports are open, and basically map out the whole system. It's like finding all the secret doors in a haunted mansion and figuring out which one has the treasure. Pro tip, you can use a zombie scan to scan a target and hide your tracks by masking your IP address. That's like using a decoy while you sneak around in the shadows. Next up, Shoden. Oh, this one is like Google's edgy little sibling. While Google is looking for websites, Shoden is looking for devices connected to the internet. Anything from webcams to entire factories. Want to know which of your target's devices are online? Shodan's got your back. It's like spying on all the gadgets, except you're actually doing it legally. Remember, we're ethical here. Google dorks? Yep, Google's a hacker tool too. Who knew? By using advanced search operators, you can find sensitive documents, misconfigured databases, or public webcams that weren't locked down properly. It's like when you find out that you're private diary was under your bed the whole time, except in this case, it's potentially a gold mine for hackers. It's time for scanning. This is where you actively engage with the target system and start digging a little deeper. Think of it like poking around inside a haunted house after you've mapped out the layout. You want to find out exactly which doors are locked and which are wide open. Wireshark? You're going to love Wireshark. It's like having a superpower that lets you listen in on network traffic. Want to see the data flying through the air? Wireshark catches it like a net. You can even filter traffic by protocols like TCP or UDP and see what's being transferred. It's basically like eavesdropping on a conversation without anyone knowing. Suits you for clicking on this video. You think I don't know you to your core, you freak? Nessus, let's get fancy. Nessus is your vulnerability scanner. It helps you identify deeper issues like missing patches, misconfigurations, or even the kinds of data that should have been encrypted but wasn't. It's like a digital metal detector that finds weaknesses buried deep within the system. Phase 3. Gaining access. Now that you've done your homework, it's time to gain access. This is where you exploit the vulnerabilities you uncovered. Think of it like picking the lock on a door you've been watching for hours. Metasploit. Welcome to the big leagues. Metasploit is a framework that allows you to create your own exploits, run custom attacks, and even drop payloads on your target machine. Want a interpreter shell? Done. Need to pivot to another network? You've got it. This tool does everything, and it's as versatile as a Swiss army knife, but much cooler. If SQL injection is your thing, SQL maps your best friend. This tool automates the process of exploiting SQL vulnerabilities in websites and databases. You'll be retrieving hidden data and even controlling entire databases with ease. It's like finding a backdoor into the system and sneaking in without anyone noticing. John the Ripper, this tool is all about cracking passwords. You feed it hashed passwords, and it uses brute force techniques to break them. Want to know your neighbor's Wi-Fi password? Maybe, but I'm not endorsing it. 
Ahem. Phase 4, maintaining access, aka don't be sloppy and fucking get caught. Once you've breached the system, you need to stay there. Hackers use backdoors and trojans to make sure they can return to the system if needed. Think of it as installing a hidden trapdoor in your digital heist. Cobalt Strike, this tool is like your master control. It simulates the entire attack lifecycle, from spear phishing to maintaining persistence on the system. You can drop a beacon payload and communicate with the system quietly, like a stealthy ninja in the shadows. Or Mimicats, this is the tool you use when you want to get all the juicy credentials. It can grab passwords, hashes, and even Kerberos tickets. It's like having a master key that opens every door on the network. Phase 5, Covering Tracks. The final step is covering your tracks. This is where you remove any evidence of your presence and make sure no one knows you were ever there. Sys Internal Suite, Microsoft's secret toolkit. It includes over 70 utilities and tools like Process Explorer and Process Monitor help you identify and terminate services that might be logging your activities. Or if you want to leave without a trace, this is how it's done. That's the basic rundown, folks. By now, you should have a clear picture of the essential tools in every hacker's toolkit and the phases of the hacking process. So, whether you're a curious newbie or a future security pro, you now have the knowledge and the tools to take your skills to the next level. Remember, ethical hacking is about securing systems, not breaking them. Always make sure you have permission before you test anything. That's it for today. If you like this video, smash that like button. Not literally, you horny fucking, never mind. Or like you have anyone to smash and subscribe for more awesome content. Until next time, happy hacking ethically.